Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Sleds. Today we are talking about maybe one of the greatest sleds of all time, believe it or not, the little Yamaha Bravo. Arguably, uh, it, in my opinion, is the longest produced uh, relatively unchanged snowmobile ever made. It was They made them from 82 to 2012. Uh, the later years mostly sold up in Canada with a long track version. This one, I believe is a 1984 model. They were light, believe it or not, could go through a lot of snow. Um, especially later on, the guys would put on uh, ski skins, you know, to get wider skis on there. But they are simple, and uh, even though they have a steel tunnel and a steel belly pan, they weighed, the, this short track version, around 305, 330 pounds, depending on what source you look at. Um, they had a single cylinder, 250 cc, fan-cooled motor, and uh, you see the gas tank is down under here, which is not typical of uh, most sleds. And uh, the oil injection tank would be right there in the toolbox, nice spacious area. I bought a couple of these for my kids, and uh, you know they're bigger than the 120, and uh, but yet uh, not too big for uh, a young one learning. And even as an adult, they're a hoot to beep up around on. They're just fun. And uh, again, believe it or not, they go through a lot of deep snow. Um, they're certainly not going to win any speed contests. They, uh, the enticers of the day, would just walk all over these. These were built more for torque, but uh, you can, again, still uh, have a lot of fun on them in the trails. And they're a great utility machine. Like I said earlier, they made a long track version with a, a cargo rack back here. And a lot of trappers and fishermen just love, love the simplicity of this. And uh, they're still widely sought after, especially up in Canada, uh, to our friends in the north. We'll go ahead and start this up. One thing to look for on these is they, there's a basically a, a motor mount dampener thing that goes through the frame into the side of the motor. They sometimes break and then you'll get this engine that will really wobble back and forth. Um, I, 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 won't, I don't want to uh, trash a brand name, but I can tell you I put on a replacement one um, and it lasted about 10 minutes and then it broke too. I was in a pinch one time and uh, uh, didn't have time to get the right part. We were at, actually, I let my boy race this, not this one, but another Bravo we have. And we put a two by four under the motor and between the motor and the belly pan and it stopped that from rocking back and forth. Um, you'll find some guys who delete the oil injection. I run mine 32 to one. You're gonna get 100 different opinions on uh, if it should be 50 to one or 20 to one, whatever. Um, but on our other Bravo that we have, we deleted the oil injection. This one still has it on. And, uh, uh, but yeah, do what you wish if, if you uh, do decide to get one of these. You, you can buff, sometimes find a speedometer kit for these. Obviously this one doesn't have it. It does have handlebar heaters. And uh, anyway, um, yeah, again, these are just fun little sleds to be bop around on and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.